Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another React Native tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to implement push notifications for your Android app in React Native. Push notifications can be extremely helpful and are a must-have in most if not all applications today. They help keep users engaged in your application and they're a good way to retain users and target specific users with unique messages. For today's video, I'll be focusing on Android. I'll probably do a similar video for iOS and what you'll need is a Firebase project and a OneSignal account. Let's get started. So first thing, I'll set up a new React Native project. Once the project is set up, let's go ahead and run our Android application. I'll open this in VS Code and then also open my Android Studio. And then I'll go ahead and import the Android project. and also launch my Android emulator. And what we should get when we run our application now is just the default uh, React Native screen. So let's just give Android Studio a moment to load everything. And then I'll go ahead and run the application. Okay, so there we go. Our uh, app is running. Uh, what's missing now is just I need to run my Metro. And then in here. So if you get this error as well, just come to settings. Uh, debug server, then I'll need my IP, then I'll just type that in, 10, 0, 9, 6, 6, 7, 1, 1, 0, and then port 8081, and this should now load all the files, so if I just uh, reload that, and there we go. And then we have the default React Native screen that should pop up. And there we go. So the next step now is to create a OneSignal account. So in your browser, just head over to OneSignal, click sign up. Then I'll go ahead and create a new account. create the account then go ahead and confirm your email and now let's go ahead and create a new app let's call it Android push then click configure so what's what's required next is the Firebase server key and the Firebase sender ID. So to get those, uh, you can just go to either an existing Firebase project or create a new Firebase project. So I'll take you through the step of first create a new Firebase project. Call it Android Push. Let me just close this. Then click continue, 
and then just head over to your project settings. So under project settings, come to cloud messaging, and then uh, well, you will just need the server key and the sender ID. So go ahead and copy these. And the sender ID. Then click save and continue. And then here we'll select React Native and then click save. And while we're here, we can just pause right now. Uh, what we'll need is this app ID. So next up, we can move on to the React Native application. So next, uh, let's go ahead and go to the React Native documentation for one signal. I'll share all these links in the uh, video description. So here, uh, we'll scroll all the way down to the installation section. So we'll run uh, this command here. Now let's first disable this. And then next in our uh, build.gradle file, we need to copy this uh, code here and add it to the top of our file. So just head over to Android uh, app and then build.gradle and then right at the top here, we'll paste that in. And then we can scroll all the way down and skip all of this and come here. So here, step five is where we initialize the OneSignal SDK in our app.js. So to do that, head over to your app.js file. So I'll go ahead and just remove everything here. I'll we'll keep some of these. And we can get rid of all of, all of this. So this will just leave us with a blank screen uh, with the text Android push. Uh, next up, let's import one signal. So we'll run import. Let's see if uh, the installation is complete. Okay. We'll say import one signal from React Native one signal. And then we'll also need uh, use effect. So we'll initialize the one signal SDK in the use effect. And what we'll need here is just copy this code, this first bit. Then let's paste it in there. And then back in our OneSignal account, let's go ahead and copy our app ID. And then we can paste that in there. And then back here, uh, we can skip this bit, which is for iOS. Uh, let's copy this method here. So it says here, this method handles when notifications are open. So it will be up to you what you do with the notification once uh, it's uh, sent to the user, whether they have to navigate to a specific page where you open the notification, uh, that will be up to you. So here we'll just console log the notification and then we'll get the details of the notification. And then this uh, bit here, I think perhaps we can skip this one. Uh, but basically, this one will be uh, a function that will be, that will be called when notifications are received while the app is in the foreground. So you can copy that as well and paste it in. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it out. And then after all of that, uh, let's just run our application again. Uh, first, let's uh, build. Let's run another build. Then let's build. Okay, so the build is complete. Uh, let's check to see if everything is successful. Everything seems okay. Uh, let's go ahead and run. Yeah, so everything is okay. Uh, let's go ahead and run the app again. 
And now what we should have is just the blank screen, as I've mentioned, with the uh, text, uh, what is this, uh, Android push. So let's just give that a moment. So now what should happen is that when we first launch, okay, let me just run my Metro once more. So as I was saying, what should happen is that when we launch the application, let me reload that. So when the, the screen first launches or when the app.js uh, file runs, uh, it will execute the code in this use effect. Uh, and what will happen is that one signal will initialize this device. So if we go into our one signal dashboard, let's click down there. We should see a list of all the devices that have been registered on our uh, on the one signal account that, that should be able to receive push notifications. So if I click on audience, as you can see under subscribed users and active users, we have one device. And then if I go on to all users, uh, we should get the details of that device that uh, signed up and the player ID. So now to send the uh, push notifications, what we can do is come to messages and then click new push. And then we'll go ahead and send a new push notification. Now let's say test. Testing push notification. And then uh, let's go ahead and send that. So it will just be sending to one device because it's only our emulator that signed up. So if I click send now, as you can see, we have this little bell icon that comes up and we have the message test push notification. And then if I click on it, it will simply open up the app. So from here, you can further customize your settings in your app to include like your app icon and the different colors that should be there. And also you can install uh, the backend packages. So cause obviously you'll be automating the push notifications. So if you want to install like a Python library for one signal, uh, you can just go ahead and Google that. So yeah, you should be able to get like a Python package uh, if you're developing your backend in Python or whatever backend you have, just uh, search for the packages that are relevant to you. But yeah, uh, that's it with Android uh, push notifications for now. Uh, cheers, guys.